Hi everyone, this is Sean for PDF Exchange, and today we're going to take a look at creating dynamic stamps with PDF Exchange Editor. So, first of all, it's important to note that there are several default stamps in PDF Exchange Editor, which you can see in the stamps pane here. So, we've got these basic stamps that we can just click and add to documents as we like. And we can use the green button here to rotate them and the yellow handles to resize them in order to suit the document that we're working on. You can also create your own stamps by clicking the stamps palette and clicking add new and then add new stamp from file. Then we just pick the image that we want to use for the stamp. So in this case, we're just going to use an editor icon. We click OK and then the stamp is available to use in the stamps pane with the other stamps. So we can just click to add it here or wherever we like. So to move on to dynamic stamps, we can add this dynamic functionality to stamps by adding a form field to the stamp that contains JavaScript that will enhance the functionality of the stamp and the function that it performs. So in order to do that, you first need to close PDF Exchange Editor. And then you go to the default location where your custom stamps are stored on your machine, which unless it's been changed locally, is at this location, which is uh, percentage app data percentage slash tracker software slash PDFX editor slash 3.0. So we click in there, we go to the stamps folder and we see this PDF file. And this is where our custom stamps are stored. So the first step of the process is to remove that file from the folder. And then we open that file in PDF Exchange Editor. And this is the stamp that we created a moment ago. So the first step of making the stamp dynamic is to add a form field to the stamp. So we're just going to use a text field. We're going to choose a suitable location to put the stamp. So here it looks good. And then we open the properties pane for the form field. And at this point, we can change any of the other properties of the, of the form field that we want to change. So for example, if we want to remove this black border from the form field, we just go to the stroke color and we select none and that will remove it there. And then to add the JavaScript to the stamp, we scroll down to value calculation and we change this to a custom action. And then this calculate action run a JavaScript option will appear. So we click that to open the JavaScript box, and then we enter whatever JavaScript we want to use for the stamp. So for this example, we're just going to use a simple one that's um, going to return the time and date when the stamp is added to the document. Then we just click OK, and we save the stamp. Then we close PDF Exchange Editor, and we move the stamp back to its default location that we saw before which is here in the stamps folder and move it back in. So next time we open PDF Exchange Editor, that stamp will be available in the stamps pane with the other stamps. So we just click here and we see the stamp is here and it adds the time when the stamp is added to the document, like so. We also recently added the custom stamp option in PDF Exchange Editor. So if we go back here and we click Add Custom Stamp, we'll see that we get this canvas where we can create any type of stamp we like. So we can have whatever content we want to add to the stamp. So we can, for example, add some comments and then some text. And we can add images from file as we did with the previous stamp. Oh, we can place that right in there. As well as adding a template to the stamp if we like to use a template. But the important part that we want to look at right now is the dynamic functionality that we can include at this point. So for example, we can add a counter to the stamp that's going to add a number for every time the stamp is added to a document, either per document or globally, i.e. 
totally in, in all documents it's been added to. So we click OK, and then we can put the counter in wherever we want. And as before, we can add other ones that would include the date, or for example, the identity of the user, like so. And once everything is in the stamp that we want to include, we just click Add Stamp, and we can add a name as desired, and then the stamp is available in the Stamps pane for subsequent use. Obviously, this one is a little bit messy, but it's just to do an example and show the functionality available with this option. So that's how to create and add dynamic stamps in PDF Exchange Editor. That's all for today. I hope you found this video instructive, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.